Michelle, welcome back. For you, what was the toughest part of this long layoff? Um, not being able to get back in, you know, watching um, the girls in my division, watching it get shaken up, you know, um, I think that was the hardest part of it all. But honestly, I think it was, it was a blessing in disguise for me, um, reignited a fire and uh, got me excited to, to come back into the uh, school and hit, hit it hard. You know, when you were giving your pre-fight interviews, you talked about, you know, hey, oh, I'd like to knock her out. I would like to be able to finish her. When you assess her as an opponent and someone you have spent time with in the gym, what really stands out and would maybe allow that knockout? I mean, when I say that it's obviously nothing personal, I think it's just as, as a martial artist, we have these goals that we set in front of us, you know, and um, I've never I've never walked into the octagon thinking, oh, you know, I'm going to do this to that person. But I, I walk into there with like a specific goal for myself. Um, and I just think stylistically, um, I, I will have some opportunities that present itself in this fight. Well, we certainly can't wait to see you return in there. Michelle, for you during training, what was the focus? Was it about yourself? Was it about the opponent? Was it about the state of the division and where things could go from here? The first, answer A. <laughs> it's always about myself, you know. Um, every, you know, I, I, I don't focus too much on my opponent because um, then, it, then it puts the focus on them and, and I stop worrying about what I can do to them. So definitely myself, the, the main focus was getting inside each training uh, session and emptying my tank 100%, like all the way to empty. You know, like when you're driving and you think you can make it when the <laughs> sign goes on E, and you're like, I think I can make it. You know, like that's how far I would empty my tank for each session. And um, by doing that, man, like I just, I started to embrace this idea of the grind, this idea that, you know, with the session, I'm here to, to learn and I'm here to, to, to give it my all in each session. And I knew that it would all, it, it would all add up, you know. Your joy is just coming off of you. You know, I can sense, and I've known you for a long time, that you are truly so excited to return. Michelle, I asked you this in private yesterday at our fighter meetings, but I feel like the world deserves to hear your answer. For you, as somebody who's been a pioneer in this sport, to be the co-main event on an ABC card, you know, and have this massive platform, what truly does that mean to you? Oh, it's great. I, um, you know, being away for so long, you kind of are, you have the time to assess what, what, what you're missing. You don't know what you have until it's gone. And just thinking about all these amazing moments that I've been able to have in the UFC is just insane. And I know anybody else would like love to have this life of mine. I think sometimes as a fighter, you get boggled down with all the pressure and stuff. And, and you lose sight of all these amazing things that you've done and I, I really got a chance to step back and, and, um, and um, get a new appreciation for all those things. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.